The 2024 Toledo Hockey Hall of Fame class introduced at the Walleye game tonight. Storm weekend continuing as Toledo looks to end a four-game slide. Cincinnati playing shorthanded tonight, and it showed. Less than a minute in, off the rebound, it's Riley Sawchuck hammering the goal home. Toledo scored twice in the first 90 seconds. Second period watch, Brandon Hawkins off the pass from Oren Santazo, beats the goalie, and inspired by Storm Hall of Famer Alex Hick, he celebrates by churning the butter. He had two. Moments later, it's Conlon Keenan. He had three as it's all Toledo in this one to the third period. The Cyclones on the power play, but Mitchell Lewandowski, the takeaway and short-handed goal as Toledo. They were rolling to a 9-1 victory, a much-needed burst of scoring after just five goals during the losing streak. We wanted a good start, which we've been talking about all season long, I think, it seems like, but uh, we wanted to get out of the gates and, and, and make some plays. Uh, what we, the video we showed today was all the opportunities that we had both Friday and Saturday night that we were just missing you know, back doors and, and some scoring opportunities, but it wasn't a lack of opportunities. It, it was an opportunity to, you know, learn from uh, where we've been the last week and a half, and, and I, you know, I was happy with the way the guys played. Coach Mickish is happy, and so is Matt Melzack and Simone Denis from the Huntington Center. Thank you. What a performance today by Toledo. Uh, Simone, they got after it. Or they set the tone on those first two shifts of the game, really. They did. They absolutely did, right? You're able to get out. You get that early goal from Riley Sawchuk. You kind of get a lucky bounce off Boyko's foot there. They talked about, Coach Mikish talked about needing to get out early and often in this game. They did that. Two goals in the first minute and a half. Riley McCord able to walk right down Main Street, get that goal. From there, they were able to, the rest of the period, the first, really kind of just neither team took advantage of it. As soon as they came out for that second period, though, the goal explosion began. Brand Hawkins picks up two in that period. Um, they're able to just continually get going and get those goals in bunches. Yeah, and you know what? You took advantage of a team that's a little short on the roster mm -hmm. side. Uh, it, it showcased they were at the end of a 4-5 and five as yeah. well. You're at the end of a 3-3. Three and three. Mm -hmm. You needed to be the better team today, yeah. and Toledo was. They absolutely were, right? They You get the team where they're playing with eight forwards and one defenseman playing up on forward. You know that this is a get-right game, right? They're coming in. Toledo lost six of their previous seven. Whether they've gotten points or not, at the end of the day, you're still not happy about those. So you know that you've come in losing six of seven. You want to get back on track. Those are the games where you know it's time to get back on track, and they did that uh, very, very frequently on the scoreboard tonight. Yeah, they really <laughs> did. Tied a season high in goals with nine that they had set back in the second game of the regular season on October 27th at Fort Wayne.